Hi, this is a quick three minute video on this. Hi, in this video we're looking at five hard questions which you can download from 3 Minute Maths. In the previous video we completed through to question number four. In this video we're going to have a look at the fifth question. Please do stop the video, have a go at the question or download the worksheet. Okay, so this is the fifth question in this particular playlist and it says here is the sketch of a curve and we're told that the curve follows. Uh, it's a quadratic curve, y equals x squared plus ax plus b. Uh, a and b are whole numbers and we've got the points 0, minus 5 and 5, 0. So actually it's not too bad. Um, what we're basically saying is that this point here is going to be the value of x and the value of y is going to be 0 minus 5 and it's the y-intercept okay and this point at the top here is also going to be 5 0 and that's the point for x and y okay so we can use that information to work out the coordinates of the turning curve which is going to be this point at the bottom here okay let's have a look and see what we can work out well the first thing Thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say well when x equals 0 uh, then y equals minus 5 well that's good because I can take that and I can put it directly into the equation itself and what I'm going to end up with is minus 5 equals x squared is going to be 0 squared plus a times 0 which is the value of x plus b Okay, so therefore there's no value for any of the x terms there. I can just from this work out that minus 5 equals b and that's good because I've now got minus 5 as being the value of that particular equation. Okay, so we can then also look at when we have the other uh, coordinate that we talked about which is going to be this one at the top here which is 5, 0. So when 5, 0, so therefore x equals 5 and y this time equals 0, I'm going to get 0 equals 5 squared, which is the value of x, plus a times 5 minus 5, which is the value of b. Okay, so therefore I end up with 25 plus 5a minus 5, okay, and therefore I could just solve for a by bringing 25 and uh, minus 5 over to the left hand side, I'm going to get minus 20 equals 5a, so therefore a in this particular case must be minus 4 if I divide through, so now I've got my value of a, which is going to be minus 4. So I've now got actually the quadratic equation that I need, which is going to be y equals x squared minus 4x minus 5 and that's the equation of the curve and then in order to calculate the turning point I just need to complete the square well that's fairly straightforward in this one I'm going to write that as x minus 2 squared okay now if I multiply all of that out I get x minus 2 multiplied by x minus 2 so don't forget that with completing the square we're just really rewriting it so I've got x squared minus 4x is perfectly fine it's exactly the same as I've got however I've got a plus 4 at the end which I need to get rid of so I'm going to minus 4 and then I've also got the constant minus 5 which I've got to bring into the equation as well. So what I end up with x minus 2 squared minus 9 and that will give me the turning point. Okay so the turning point directly can be read from the uh, completed the square form but you have to remember this minus becomes a positive so the turning point is going to be positive 2 and then negative 9 so the value of the turning point on this equation is going to be 2 negative 9 and that would be the answer to this particular question. Okay, so I hope the video was useful. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. I'll always come back to you. Subscribe to the channel. I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.